Buddhism is the fourth largest religion in the world, with over half a billion followers. But growing up in the West, none of us knew much about it. So when we arrived in Thailand a few months ago, we wanted to gather a deeper understanding of the culture and new country we were about to explore. Which is why the first conversation out of the plane was this. We've been in Thailand for about two hours. I mentioned how we want to try and like interact with monks or do something with monks. He's like, oh, you want to be a monk? He's like, okay, what does that imply? He's like, you shave everything, including your eyebrows. I'm not going to do that. I already did Japan. <laughs> You look amazing. amazing. A monk. It's a tradition here in Thailand where the teenage boys they will become a monk basically because it's a way to respect their parents, mm. how they raised them for the past 18, 19 years. Your is up your hair. Yeah. For you. It's not up your hair. This is removing it. And your eyes. Well, how fast do eyebrows grow? That's my biggest question. <laughs> I have no idea. Oh, okay. Does that. <laughs> That's Kevin. During our stay in Thailand, he helped us plan our party for 24 hours, took us to the best places in Bangkok, and helped us organize a surprise honeymoon retreat for a couple. Kevin's the man with the connections. And two weeks after this conversation, we were in Chiang Mai in the north of Thailand, when out of the blue, he called us. Kevin? Hey, yo, what's up? What's up, man? How's it going? <laughs> Do you remember when you asked me about experiencing how it's like to become a Buddhism monk? Yeah. Well, you were able to connect to this monk, which is famous in Thailand. He's a huge deal, like tens of thousands of people go to like, this speech. The monk he's talking about is one of the most respected and well-known monks in all of Thailand. He's a lecturer who's written dozens of bestseller books about life and Buddhism, helped refugees all over the world, successfully spread his message of love to millions of people online, and closely works with the Pope and the Dalai Lama. So when we woke up, we truly had absolutely no clue what we're about to experience. It is currently 6.30 in the morning. We are an hour into our ride. We have no idea what's happening once we get there. We don't know where we're sleeping tonight. We don't know what we're doing once we get there. I realized I forgot my phone, so I don't even have the guy's what? contact. And then Thomas, Dude. hopefully Thomas has his battery. So here's all we know, that there's some kind of festival or celebration going on. Unfortunately, we haven't been told what it is. We're going. I'm so confused right now. I'm exhausted. Nobody understands us or what we're trying to do. There's such a fine line between insulting, being like self-aware. Like you don't want to ask a monk to like sleep in their monastery. But that's what we're trying to do, you know? Like we want to experience what they experience. And it's very hard to pitch that without being like uh, ignorant. Right. That's the dilemma right now. So how do we do this? Ah! That's the way of uh, Ajahn Bo. How are you? Yeah, follow me and you know. Yeah, I'm a YouTuber. Yes, 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 I'm a
level of discomfort. We want to do this thing that takes a lifetime to accomplish, like becoming a monk in like a day. Well, we. Well, Titty. Yeah, he uses the word we. <laughs> You're not the one shaving your head and eyebrows, buddy. <laughs> From my bending. Oh, no. Okay. Can you guess who is this one? Yeah, this one. Yeah. This one. 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 Borderless. You know, love is borderless. He's treating us to so much food, ice cream, banana bread. Uh, need banana. Oh, try. I gotta try this. Okay, try, yeah, try. Yeah. It's delicious. It's incredible. So amazing to see you yeah. here. Yeah. That's why I ask you, how do you come yeah. here? Yeah. Who bring you here? Yeah. Because this program, we are not inviting so many people. Right. Just only the, the the local people. Which is why it's crazy. We just expect it to be in the background, but that he keeps saying like, come, come, and like puts us in front. For us, it's very uncomfortable, but it's amazing. Mm -hmm. It's just mm -hmm. so new. So he, he's been so nice about like making us feel mm -hmm. so welcome. Same with you. Tonight will be a special program for your brother. <laughs> <laughs> you are new rock. New shirt. <laughs> we shave his head first and then put the robe on? Yes. Okay. So why we have Pro. to shave, shave our hair? Because the Buddha would like to learn about letting go of our attachment. So we don't want to decide our hair every morning. Letting go of our attachment. It's really cool. I like that. <laughs> one week? <laughs> one day. One day. Yeah. Okay. I wish one week. In order to be auspicious for you, he is going to be the first person to cut your hair. You let us know, please. <clears throat> May you be free from suffering, may you be successful, Buddha, Dhamma, Sakha, and Kapiyashu. Wow. Were you expecting to do this this morning? <laughs> no. I was expecting us to show up and then just leave like an hour later. I you know five different people are cutting my hair. May you get enlightenment tonight. May your mind be awakened mind. May you understand the law of the nature that is the real teaching of the Buddha. Everything is impermanent. If you accept this rule, your life will be happy. I got a lot of work to do. I've been growing this for months. Wow, oh, you have so much hair. When you was a baby, your parents will do this for you. That's why when we become a novice, we will think about the parents and we wish them to be happy on this ordination. Alright, comes the shape. Wow, wow very, everything is just coming off. It's very cool on my right side here. <laughs> God. It's, it's, so it's all coming off. Like I feel it. <laughs> think about your parents too. Yeah, I wonder what and they say. Just like <laughs> my parents are not Buddhist. It will take them some time for them to understand. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hopefully. What do you think of this? This is amazing for me. This is the first visiting in Thailand and he think about to be a novice. That's awesome. That's amazing for me. Also. I think if you're going to learn about Buddhism, there's no better way. Some may call it the craziest way because nobody would do this, but he's doing it. Take some cojones to fully shave your head and like try out an entire religion in a day. Now we wish you are No, no worry, be happy. No worry, be happy. <laughs> Anymore. You look more handsome. I'm not dressing with you guys. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's a different kind of handsome. When you shave your hair, you look more handsome. She <laughs> said. Okay, come, come. I don't want to look in the mirror. Shampoo and... Did he? Uh, <laughs> because I don't know what I was like. But I... You take, you take this... Uh... Ah, yes, over there. Can you get the... the, the... Oh my god. Man, eyebrows are really important. <laughs> Alright, we didn't want to be disrespectful laughing. It was just such a shock seeing my little brother look like so different. But yeah, no way do you want to make fun or Buddhism or anything. So it's just because of him looking just totally, totally different. Okay. <laughs> 
พุทธามปีพุทธามปีภาพาเชธาภาพาเชธาเพิ่มเทพเพิ่มครับเฮ้ยข้างข้างนี้ทำไมไม่ได้ Are you processing what's happening right now? I'm not. I'm just like baffled. This is the craziest thing I've done by far. It is the good thing in your life, man. That was great. Yes, very good thing in your life. You are the son of the Buddha. Welcome to new family. Congratulations. I'm a novice. You're officially a novice. That was intense. It was crazy. It was a lot of focus. Tonight, you have to separate your bedroom. Matt and I are going together. Yes. And then he's going alone? Yes, you have to go to alone. Matt and I are going to sleep over here. And Titi is going to go sleep with the other new monks. New friends. <laughs> Strangers are just friends you haven't met yet. That is huh? huge. I love kills. Dude, are these dangerous? A little bit dangerous. <laughs> a little bit dangerous? Yes, a little bit dangerous. Dude, what's this? To welcome. <laughs> Young novice, yeah. newcomer. Uh, what is your Thai name? Tom. Uh, Tom. Tom. This is the Tom. Uh, okay. T O M Tom. T U M Tom. Tom. Okay. Take a few deep breaths. Relax. Breathing in. Breathing out. Happy in. Suffering out. Have a little smile. Relax. Come back to stay with our breath. Relax. We're just uh, walking meditation for about an hour. Some Tai Chi relaxation. And we're gonna go eat breakfast since I can't eat afternoon. Enjoy your meal today. So the novices have to sit and eat outside. The monk today is the inside. Yeah, you go and okay. meet the master. Okay. I just had lunch with the master, which was pretty crazy. And the whole point behind this meal was to try to eat mindfully and to really focus on the food that you're eating. Let any thought or let the future or the past get away from your mind and just focus on the food that's in your mouth. So the disrobing is about to happen. It's very, very special ceremony. And really being with, uh, with mindfulness. In Kanla Sikha, my Kwama La Klapai Ben Monster, keeping the process to be disrobing. You will become a lady. From the master, half that dharma. Every day, every time, everywhere, you can practice mindfulness. Yeah, come. This is my last time wearing the monk robe, so it's time to go back to being a lay person. See you on the other side. I can't even recognize you. I know. <laughs> the process is not, not no, done yet. Not yet. yet. All right. If you would like to come back here anytime, any year, <coughs> remember this is the same as your house. Alright, we're about to head out. And it's been a whirlwind of things happening. We came here not expecting anything to happen, and next thing I know, we're being like welcomed on stage. I'm getting my head shaved and then getting sung to by hundreds of students. Everyone's just so kind and so joyous that I feel like I learned so much about this sort of culture and how they really appreciate the moment. And that's what it's all about. Especially in Western culture, we tend to, you know, what's the next thing, next goal to achieve. But here, it's all about fully being in the present. And I don't even care that I'm gonna have no eyebrows and no hair for a month at least, because one of those things that you let go and you realize it's not really part of who you are and forces you to be really happy with yourself and what your personality is. So I look forward to being stared at in Europe. <laughs> <laughs>